Hello friends, in this video, we will be discussing about our role as community members in suicide prevention. First, let's understand why community members are crucial for suicide prevention and what are their roles. It is important to understand that to prevent suicide, it is crucial to involve most of the people who are directly related to youth for identification of vulnerable young adults and linking them with right services. These people can be following family members, peers, primary medical care staff and teachers. Various community members can be involved by sensitizing about youth suicide, provided small training and given information to deal with such individuals can be effective in prevention of suicide. The coming slides will talk about various but possible individual roles that can be played for early detection and prevention. Family members can be educated by community or college or educational institute through pamphlets or sensitized about such problems. In various parent-teacher meet, institutes can organize various campaigns to speak about stigma for mental health issues and suicide. Parents can be involved in various volunteer groups to advocate about mental health among other parents. Various small trainings can be offered to parents like gatekeepers to enable them to help youth in crisis. Peer empowerment in educational institutes can be one of the effective way to prevent suicide. Various volunteer programs can be introduced in campuses and youth can be invited to be active part of suicide prevention campaigns or screening. Students can be provided gatekeeper training to become gatekeepers. Students can be linked to various online and offline resources. Now let's look into the roles of teachers, coaches, staff, warden and student council members. Various studies advocate to actively involve faculty and staff of educational institutes to play active role in suicide prevention. These staff members come in touch easily and frequently with students for some period, which enables them to these staff members come in touch easily and frequently with students for some period, which enables them to understand the sudden changes happening in any student's life. Various training for these members can effectively prevent suicide and can empower them to identify at-risk students and immediately connect them with right mental health services. In some places, medical staff does not get adequate training to screen and understand students, showing signs of suicide and responding. Training of these staff members can make suicide prevention more effective. Such training can be organized at government level. However, primary medical care professionals working in educational campus can be trained by outsourcing professionals for training. Thank you friends for being with us throughout the video. We hope that this video would have helped you in realizing our responsibility as a community member and how our united effort can really bring a large scale change.